What's going on everybody? Today's video, we're going to go over some of my favorite pickups from this year. A lot of PCs, some are like holds and then buy PC with them later. A little bit of stories between them all. Fair warning, some of them, one has not come in yet. The other three are booklets and it's just kind of hard to get them all on camera. So we're just going to pop some pictures up on the screen and stuff like that. But overall, really, really good year. I doubt that I'll find anything else between now and the end of the year that's going to be like, oh my goodness, I need to, I should have put this in the video and waited type deal. Uh, it, it would really shock me if I did find anything like that. So, without keeping you guys here forever and dragging this on forever, we're going to flip back and forth between some screens of pictures. Stuff I picked up on various points. A lot of it was either from a show or from Golden Auctions. All right, starting off with the exquisite Larry Bird booklet. This did cut, was an 8.5. I picked this up off of Golden, very cheap. The day this went off, there was like, this is no joke, like 2025 20, Larry Bird. So I was watching them all, and it came down to three where nobody was paying attention on. This was one of them. I'm a big fan. Everybody knows. If you've known me for over 10 years, I've always loved exquisite. It was one of my favorite products along with the cup hockey. I wish they would have done the cup or some kind of similar product. Uh, like they did with the cup with other things as well, too. But this is a really cool piece here. Um, you know, it's always available, but it's one of my favorites just because you, you don't see this kind of stuff in any of the shows around here at all. So pretty cool overall. Um, this would be something I would trade for like an upgrade and some of my PC stuff like that there. All right, let me see. Let's move to the next one. It was another booklet. You guys seen this. This is another Golden Auctions, the Mike Trout BGS 10 booklet. I always put it out for sale just to see if I can entertain anything onto it. It's not something personally that I would keep from my collection, even though a 10 is very hard to get in a booklet. This here is one of those things that if I sold it for some amount and it goes in my head that day, it would be used to put towards something later on that I would buy for my own PC. Uh, you know, we'll just hit them all up here. Up next, this has not come in yet. <laughs> it has shipped from Golden Auctions, Wayne Gretzky. So a little backstory to this card here, all right? This is a 2003 Upper Deck Premiere, right? I actually pulled this card back in the day. Not this exact card. I don't think it was. Um... And like I said, this was like very, very early on. I ended up selling it to help fund my divorce. And it's one of the two cards that you'll see today that actually funded my divorce. And I've always been to look out for it. I may have paid either at comps or maybe just a little over for this card. But just to have it back in my collection, you know, it, it's awesome. Um, you guys will see it when it comes in the mail day. Definitely one of my favorites offhand. But this here, straight PC. I should never got rid of it younger. This here, I just bought off a of Golden, right? Now, Grant, I know you guys are going to see it. Oh, it's an 8 with a 9 grade. Well, I'm going to tell you, the, the grades on these autos back in the day, like this here, are really, really hard. Because they take the serial number in effect. And I believe when I was looking at this, the serial number or the slash or something was going, looks like it's going off card. So this here, 91 Upper Deck, Brett Hall Checklist. One of the things when I was a kid, like, I got to get these. I'm still trying to rotate through to getting them all, like all the um, sports, which will probably take a very, very long time because you don't see them much, and when you do, they're really banged up. An 8 in this car to me is really good. The auto is a 9. I'll take it. That should be what the average auto is. You won't see a lot of 10s out there on this card. But I picked this up. I think I spent like 80 bucks for it, graded, with shipping and everything onto it. So it's another little, you know, nostalgia piece for myself that'll end up sitting in my box for a very long time until Old Extreme calls it quits. All right, guys, that concludes with the picture part. I still got the cards in front of me. I actually had one come back from Graden, so we'll show you that too. All right, there we go. So just keep in mind, none of this stuff here, minus one card, came out of my Jordan collections I had from a kid because I wanted to show stuff that I purchased or purchased with trade or traded for this year. Um, the stuff I've been grading with my Jordans, kind of like I've been keeping it 
secret secret because I just want to hold it for a long time until I can find that right place to sell them in the right time as well too. So you guys are ready for some more stuff. There's a mixture. Wildcat, you watching this? I'm telling you, there's some football in here. You might have seen some of it. So some of you guys have probably seen this from other videos, a lot of these cards. And really, I think only the bottom, maybe three or four, like, you know, my tops of the year. So up first, this was a cool piece. It's Warren Spawn's Auto. You know, there's a ton out there. This is actually serial numbered out of four as a PSA 10. This was picked off of Golden Auctions as well, too. Very, very cheap on to it. Um, the Raws itself sell for around 200 I think that's what I paid roughly for this card. So being in a 10, it's basically you got to hold something like this. I'm a fan of some of these cut autos, not a lot, because of the way they're... Like, see how Spawn's kind of cut off there? But still well-placed, even though this is off of a check. I kind of liked it. So pretty cool piece right off the bat there. Um, that there I'd probably trade or upgrade for something else that I like later on. This here... Aaron Judge actually won this card. 2018 Topps Triple Thread PSA 10. Very hard grade. Let's say this was numbered out of 8. No, 9. Out of 9. I can see it now. But to get it as a PSA 10 is pretty good. Uh, actually, really, really good. This is one of them cards, you know, it's still always out for sale. Um, I would probably either, you know, like I said, this is one of them cards I would sell or trade and do something I would want down the road. If I sold the money, be... Put into like, you know, the save for a bank just until that time comes. I find something I like. But really, really cool card. One of my favorites because I am an old guy that likes triple threads. And to find something in a 10 on this, boom. Actually, I'll tell you what. Joey graded this and got it as a 10. But again, I didn't pay full price for that. It's, it's ridiculous in price. All right. I know everybody's going to, especially Wildcats, going to be like, why? Kenny Pickett. I still have faith in him. This is the White Obsidian G1 Sports. Pulled this for me. I believe it was out of a nope, out of 10. 10. These were the, uh, I think this was the first off the line, like, case hits if you hit one or something like that. I forget. There's so many case hits now I got <laughs> anymore, guys. I just don't even know what to say with them all. But this is really cool. Like I said, I'm still a Pickett fan. I moved a lot of his memorabilia except for a few pieces. Now I just have the autos. Maybe one day something happens with them. I mean, their offense did look better, so we'll see what happened. Sorry, guys. I got to keep an eye on my phone because of... Um, uh, I got the shopper out there at the store for me. I'm not standing in the holiday line shopping for groceries. So I may have to cut some of the video, possibly down the road, if I see it go off. All right, up next, Kenny Pickett. Another auto. This was Panini 1. I believe I purchased this at a card show. It's numbered out of 35. I just like it because the how these stand out for the day ones with the hollow in the background and everything. Really cool piece. I know, I know, Kenny Pickett. I think it's the last Pickett. That's why he's early. This is a Spectra PSA 10. Very hard grades. This is a Celestial. I believe it's out, yeah, out of 99. Just another cool piece with Kenny Pickett on. I know this is all cut up down here. It's not the case. It's just the way it was in. I just got to get her in a new team bag. All right. Up next. A little hockey. Sidney Crosby. Guys, I don't know if I showed this in the video if it or not now. But this came back from Golden BGS 9 with the 10 auto. Auto facts. This is his second year. So pretty cool to get that piece there. It's on card auto. I still pick up Crosby's here and there when I see them and they're a good price. And trust me, everything now is starting to turn into it's like a time for good pricing. You know, like the money you make or sold during certain time frames or you've been saving because you don't want to buy sports cards during the super hype and all that. Now it's just time when I just start picking stuff up. You guys will remember this. This was another golden auctions. I know I got this dirt cheap. This is from Prime. Um, it was a Panini product. The printing plate auto of Troy Palomalu. I would never think you'd get a 9 on one, a 9 5 on one of these. Look at that. 10 10 10. And then I think that's a, uh, for some reason, 8 5. Gave it all that. Now, the auto did get a 9 on the back of it, which I really didn't care much about because one, the placement, I know that's on the back. It's only because he went off sticker right there. But other than that, really hard to get grades like that on printing plates. So, really was amazed by that. A lot of people don't have faith in this guy anymore, Franz Wagner. I still think he's pretty decent. 
just that Paulo took a lot of his stuff up. I picked this up at the Salem Sports Card Show, and the guy basically sold it to me for a raw price. So it's a 9 with a 10 auto. This is numbered out of 10 select. This is probably one of the fairly newer cards you'll see besides the, I think the, might be one more. Possibly one more. Yeah, at least on the next ones. I think the rest are all older. So pretty cool just to add to it, to hold on to. I mean, got a decent price. Unless he goes out and plays a little giddy up out there, I think we'll be fine with holding it for the price I got it for. Up next, this here has a funny story to it, which I'll tell. Um, but I'll show you guys the cards. It's an SGC 1010 Undertaker Auto, out of ten, uh, numbered out of 10, too. So 1010 10 out of 10. Does that make it an eBay 101? I don't know. But anyhow, this here didn't even make it for a uh, you call it eBay certification thingy, right? So a friend of mine sends me a picture of this car and is like, hey, um, this guy want, wants like, I forget, it was something crazy onto it. So I looked to try to figure out a price. I said I'd pay this for it. Never heard back. Found this going on uh, eBay, right, at auction. I'm like, I'll watch it. It went off at like 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern. I think I picked it up really, really cheap. Undertaker's getting old. If you guys are into wrestling, you guys know what I'm saying. He's still moving around and everything like that, but these guys that do this, especially for him through three decades, you, you never know how long they're still going to be able to sign cards. And I'm not saying because he's going to hurry up and go die or nothing, but I mean, eventually if you start looking at a lot of the guys, I mean, they start having issues trying to sign and hold things, and it's all with the nerves and stuff onto it. But I'm glad I got to pick this up, and I know I paid, I think it was like a third of what I offered on it for it. Originally from the guy before I bought it on eBay. Mm, I think where I got this at. Oh, J and J All Star Show Louisville. Christian Pulisic, ten ten. This is the incredible ink. It's numbered out twenty five. One of my favorite Pulisic cards, to be honest. I always pick him up when I can. I know he's not like a super high name, but people recognize it out there. This year, maybe we'll try to find like a Messi or Ronaldo auto. I have to look. I haven't done my sheet up what I want to look for this year. Add to a couple of the spots. Undertaker was actually one of the cards I wanted to buy. Then I had uh, on my list, I put a soccer um, 10 card of like one of the players, and Plissick was one of them. All right, this was out of the Midwest Monster. This was a trade in cash. You don't see these very often. They're the old White Wells from Triple Threads. I want to say this was 13. No, 2010. Triple Threads 101. Drew Brees Auto. I can only ever find one and sold it like 800 bucks onto, but still not the point. I picked this up thinking that I knew a Drew Brees guy and he might want it. He didn't want it. So now it stays in the old extreme pile for holding for a while unless I can get something I really want out of it, you know? Which is kind of hard nowadays because it's got to be something that's going to shock me. Like something like this here. You guys seen this one? The Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, and Steve Young. This, I think I'm going to grade just the autos, but I want to get it slabbed. You guys can see, look at all the plastic in these things. Man, they're just starting to go. I got to change them out and stuff. But um, really cool piece. This was numbered out, I think, 36? No, 27, 27. This is one of those things where you got three... Um, Hall of Famers on here from the same team that I, I don't know if I'd hold or actually get rid of. It's one of those like iffy things on to it. I don't collect them, but I like collecting things you don't see a whole lot of out there. All right, this here I was looking for for about, I don't know, well, I was almost right when I would say the years, about six to seven years. It's a little bit long, older. When I first seen this come out in the set, this is out of the cup. It's Gretzky and uh, Rob Blake dual auto. I always wanted it. And every time I'd see one of these stinking things come up on eBay, people would way overbid it. Finally picked this up on Golden Auction. Um, very, very happy with it. It's going to stay in the old PC. But it's just a really cool card, again, with Gretzky and Rob Blake on. Um, if you watched hockey back in the day, it's just a nostalgia piece again, too. And I hate using the word nostalgia, but it's just like... The thing that I, when I was, this was getting close to retirement when, uh, from the Army whenever I seen this car come out. I was like, oh man, there's a couple cool ones like that. Alright, up next, 
This completed the Michael Jordan auto for number 23. I graded it. I never showed it. There's the auto being a 10. Or it came back a 6. I really thought it was an 8. I, I don't matter to me just because the grade onto it. I should have just went with an auto grade and it would have looked a lot better. But at least the card is graded. Nobody can ever question if I decide to ever sell the card. But this was number 23. It's actually the lowest graded Jordan auto I have now. <laughs> But, it, like I said, this is still a cool card. These don't come up very, very often. They're very, very SSSSP. I'm going to just say limited, but um, you don't see them very often at all. I know you guys are probably wonder where are the last two cards? Well, Nolan Ryan Auto. Another one out of 2,500. This is the 5,000 strikeout. Very hard to find these. I thought about grading. I might. I don't. I know I can't just grade the auto because it's a little streaky up in here. The car itself is probably like a freaking six or seven too. I don't know, but it's still the piece for the Nolan Ryan collection. One day, I'll get both all twenty five hundred of these. Yeah, right, huh? <laughs> that was actually my second favorite pickup. This is my favorite, and it has nothing to do with the player's name. It's the history behind this card and not being able to find another one like it unless it's the horizontal version which leads me to believe everything on this card is true it, they weren't numbered they're very 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 limited according to upper deck upper deck said there was only one ever redeemed but we can't get anything official onto it lebron james this is from upper deck it's the signature kicks i've seen a jordan go up between 10 and twelve thousand. So I have no idea what LeBron would pull in. Probably somewhere around that. I don't know. The ones that go like this were anywhere from like 3000 to 5000 So I guess it's going to depend on the time frame they get sold. Upon retirement, upon breaking a record, upon um, Hall of Fame. I don't know. But it's one of them cards I probably wouldn't get rid of unless somebody had something I really, 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 really wanted. Like... Arnold Palmer auto, Tiger Woods autos that have to be involved in, stuff like that. But that's it, guys. Pretty cool stuff for the year. Um, figured we'd do a little video because some of this stuff's getting put away and I probably won't have actually access to. The Like I said, the Montana card, I'm thinking it, I might just grade the auto just to get it slabbed. And then there's another card I was looking at. I don't know if it's in this or not. Uh-uh. Might have just been something else I have somewhere laying around. I was thinking about just getting it encapsulated just as well, whether it has a grade on it or not. Um, just so it doesn't ever get like ruined again. I thought there was another one. Maybe I'm just really off. It might just not made it into my favorites, and it was just one of the things I picked up along the way. Too sure what it was now. Watch this part of the card here. Nope. I just want to make sure it wasn't hiding back here. Nope. But that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know Kenny Pickett was in it. But I was collecting Pickett. Still am. I'm hoping and holding. Mm, we'll see what happens with them. Offense job last week could be a one-time thing. This week's the Cardinals. They supposedly have a really horrible secondary. So we'll see what happens. Maybe he has some sparks. I know Kanda was a big issue because he had an issue with Roethlisberger. As well, too, towards the end of his career. We'll see what happens. But all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good one. I'm out.